Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the Min Leaf uh, ZX7250 uh, inverter uh, welding machine. Uh, this being an inverter means that it's very small, very efficient and should be very good. Uh, that is going to be tested. Uh, but I can also say that this is very cheap so expectations are to be uh, found or assessed uh, right now so the inverter welder looks like this it's uh, very small it's very compact it's very light uh, and here is my Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 phone so you can see a comparison uh, okay from corner to corner it's like this so it's a very compact welding machine and from top and the bottom there you go and this is a GoPro case GoPro 8 case so you can imagine how small this is and it's also very light and compact so on uh, the faceplate here you get this adjustment button and two connectors and display if you power the machine on uh, which also has a cooler here the cooler will start and uh, from here you can adjust the current and you can go all the way up to 250 amps which is uh, a lot which is a lot for uh, such kind of uh, machine and you get here some specifications it has 60 volt output uh, and it has 60 percent work time uh, on uh, 250 amps 30 volts and 100 percent duty cycle at 193 amps so you can use this with 2.5 millimeters rod for unlimited time and with 3.5 millimeters you could have a achievable 60 percent duty time with no problems but as you will see uh, we are going to test two different type of rods and see how this thing works what you also need to know about this that uh, in the box because this is very cheap you are only going to get these two connectors but you are not going to get the cables nor the um, clamps neither of them so don't count off getting the cables or the clamps you can find them on the same website if you want to buy them from there but you can also buy them locally but you will get the uh, connectors that will go here and they are very good because they are easy to fix they have uh, a notch here and it will go there and then twist it and it's locked into position it will not get out very good connector and it's easy to mount on the cable here so add those to your uh, calculation for the total price you also are not going to get the uh, socket connector uh, but that's a good idea because you can buy your own needed connector for your own uh, plug type so maybe it's uh, better that way and you can buy a high quality one okay it's time to prepare some uh, gear and let's see how this uh, works uh, I need to say that I'm not a good welder uh, and this is going to be just a test so I'm not going to use wire brush hammers and necessary stuff that you need to use in this kind of situations I just want to see how this works with a 2.5 millimeter rod and a 3.5 millimeter rod uh, how well the arc primes uh, if it has problems and if the stick welds and gets sticked on the uh, metal that you try to weld what happens to that
and as you have seen this has no problem with both rods so it simply uh, dries them apart uh, and melts them away uh, here is an example of uh, some uh, weld uh, as i've told you i have no idea of welding performance but uh, i did some welds and they are holding for years and years with um, some old tech uh, welding machines uh, but they do not look good and these are not welds to be shown on the internet nonetheless uh, I was impressed that I could have melted away a 2.5 rod and a 3.5 rod with no problems, with no overheating, uh, with no duty cycle problems, no stopping there. So uh, on the 3.5 millimeter rod, I haven't went up more than uh, 140 amps. I didn't need more than that. And it just ticks from time to time, but there is no problem. You can just move it slightly and it will disconnect and then prime it again and it welds right away no problem there uh, which i really like and uh, the weld it's actually looking very good and it has good grip so it has good penetration but that mostly depends on the metal on the electrodes and stuff like that so um, those are details and you can see this is a rust part of metal it's not clean it's nothing it's just uh, junk metal junk and nonetheless the weld here is very nice the other part that I have used was more for uh, support to get metal on this one so all in all this thing really performs very well for how cheap it is and how small it is uh, so I highly recommend this if you are not a pro but if you want to do uh, various jobs that needs welding around home or your shop this is a very good device to have very cheap very small very light and it works very good so until my next video see you and bye bye